We recently made PayPal as a payment method available in Europe, the UK, and Switzerland. If you have a Connect account, first reach out to support to see if you're eligible. But if you're a direct merchant, meaning if you accept payments directly from consumers, let's go through the steps to enable it. First and foremost, you need to have a Stripe account registered in the EU, UK or Switzerland to be able to activate PayPal. You will also need a PayPal business account in one of those 32 countries. In the Stripe dashboard, navigate to the payment method settings page and if you're eligible, you should see the PayPal option listed under the wallet section. Click the turn on button to start the onboarding process. Select where you'd like to keep your PayPal funds and click the button to connect and activate your accounts. In order to accept PayPal payments on Stripe, you will need a PayPal business account. If you don't already have one, you can create it during the onboarding process or log in using your existing account details. If it's a new PayPal account, be sure to complete all the account opening steps required by PayPal. Once this is done, if you logged into an existing account, you should see the green check mark on the right to indicate that your PayPal account has been connected to Stripe successfully. From there, you can also contact support if you need to change how your funds are settled. You can turn this feature off at any time by clicking the turn off button. If you created a new PayPal account as part of the onboarding flow, it will first be marked as pending until you confirm your email address, so make sure to check your inbox. If you're mostly using Stripe's no-code product like Payment Link, this is all you need to do. PayPal will now be a payment option for other customers. To test it out, you can select one of your products, copy its payment link, open it in a new tab, and verify that the PayPal option is displayed. Now, if you're using our API and SDKs, you can configure your integration to display PayPal as a payment method with just a few changes to your code. First, if you're using Checkout, locate where you're creating a session using stripe.checkout.sessions.create in your code base. If you're already specifying different payment methods using the payment method types attribute, all you need to do is add PayPal to your array. By default, if you don't specify any payment method types, it will display all payment methods enabled, including PayPal. If you're using the payment element, locate where you're creating the payment intent using stripe.paymentintent.create. If you have the attribute automatic payment methods set to enabled, PayPal will show up as an option automatically. Otherwise, if you're using the payment method types attribute to customize your options, you'll only need to add PayPal to the array and you'll be good to go. Additionally, you can update your payment element to always show PayPal prominently by using the payment method order attribute. Finally, if you want to make checkout faster and easier for your customers, you can also add Express Checkout to your product pages by specifying the beta version when declaring your publishable key, setting the attribute mode to payment when providing options to create the payment element, and adding a div with ID Express Checkout element in your front end. The code samples shown in this video are using Node.js, but the changes are very similar in other programming languages. If you want to read more, please check our documentation. Now, what if you want to refund a customer? To do this, select the payment you'd like to issue a refund for in the Stripe dashboard, click on the refund button in the top right, and confirm. When you issue a refund, Stripe will use your available balance, not including your pending balance. So if you don't have enough funds in your available balance to cover the amount of the refund, Stripe will debit the remaining amount from your bank account. And that's it. You can now enable PayPal as a payment method with Stripe in a few clicks and some minor code changes. If you're interested in reading more about this, feel free to check our docs. And otherwise, thanks for watching.